it's now time to take the last batch out after tumbling. You get to see what they finally look like. Let's do this. Okay, now we gotta take the lids off of our number fives. You can take that lid off, I'll take this lid off. And the washer, and then this part. Let's see how bubbly it is this time, because that was just soap. Ivory soap was just shredded into here. How do you get this part off? You work your, oh. You just have to get under here. Oh, and, under here? Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to pour it. Wait, let's look at this. Sorry, I'm getting... It's not bubbly, even though it was pure soap. Here we go. Yeah, come down here. Then, gonna, then we wash them. Wash this out a little bit. That's good. And then we do this. Double use the water. Mm -hmm. One more time. Thank you. That's good. This is beautiful. Great. That one's nice and clean, ready to be put away. Let's pour them softly in the bowl. Okay, we should have washed them more. We should have. Yeah, get here, the, get here, just pour them back in. Yeah. And then you hold the screen up while I pour in it. Okay. Okay, that's it. We got one more to go. These are my couple of favorite rocks. We keep looking at them every time. There's a petrified wood right here. See how pretty he turned out? He's all done. Now, if I hadn't put this last tumble in, it would they wouldn't have stayed as shiny. Now when I dry them, they'll stay almost as shiny. Here's that pretty iridescent one. Aren't they beautiful? Just a little. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Now we're ready to pour these out. And this is the final thing. We get to take them in the house. We're just lucky it was warm out today. Here. And there we go. One more time. Yeah, nice and clean. Okay, that beautiful use up all your water. Okay, just one little bit stop there. We need to wash the cement off yes. because we don't want oh, that cement. You don't want cement? We don't want gray I'm just messing with you. <laughs> we don't want gray cement. We want it pretty. There you go. Thank you very much. Perfect. We're done. Now we're going to go see what we can do with these rocks. Yeah, that's pretty. And there's another petrified wood in here. And these, I like these stripy ones. They're fun. Here's my other petrified wood we've been following. See the ends of it? Great. Now we bring them in the house. We spread out one of our towels. Just pour it out this time and pour it out. And now we'll just dry it. And there we go. We'll let them sit for about a couple of hours and they'll be dry as a bone and they'll be just as shiny. Love them. Here we go. Perfect. Here is how I store some of my rocks. These are the ones I'm sorting by size and color so I can make different earrings and necklaces out of them. It makes it a lot easier if you do this. See, that one's all petrified wood. There you go, now you can see them. But it's all good. Here are a few of the earrings I have made in the past with my rocks. I also like to find different shaped jars to put the rocks in. That makes for a fun conversation piece throughout the house. Rocks that we tumbled before in times past. Just nice, aren't they? Don't you think this little guy looks like a bald eagle? I love it when you use your imagination with your tumbled rocks. Just flip him over. And there's his back. Thanks for watching Granny's Simple Solutions. We post hobbies every Thursday. 
So stay tuned next Thursday. Like and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye.